All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting anybody who's living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. And uh, I just want to go into this lesson. Um, and I'm going to call it, um, We're Mourning, But Joy Comes in the Morning. And it's going to be a bit of a spiritual rant. You know, I don't have my scriptures with me, but I have my scriptures with me, if you know what I mean, you know. And, um, you know, you know, we, we're going through it. You know, we, we're being chastised and we understand why. And we understand that this is a condition of the battle. You know, um, hey, I even got a quote. Um, Bruce Lee, he said, don't pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a hard one. Okay. So that's where we're at with it, you know. And um, the scripture says we have not gone through anything that is not common unto men. Okay. So we all suffering in our own way. We're all in our own hell. But joy comes in the morning, you know. You know. So the hope is, you know, uh, for the end of this shit, you know, as the scripture says, um, better is the end of the thing of a thing than the beginning, you know. You know, I always, uh, you know, I be, uh, I always, I always say, um, and I, and I've heard it said before, a movie is only as good as its ending. You know, and um, the Lord is drawing this thing to a close. It's very bitter. It's a very uh, bitter walk that we are in. You know. And, 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 and we're just, you know, we, we are, it just gets more and more bitter the closer, uh, you know, we get to the end, you know, but at the end of the day, the hope is still the same, you know, and, um, you know, people, you no, know, look at us like we're nuts, like we're crazy when we um, first of all talk about the things that are coming as far as Jacob's trouble ultimately leading up to the destruction of Babylon the Great, but also expressing how we are hoping for that, you know, how we are looking forward to it. People look at us like we're nuts. How the hell do you look forward to people dying in the streets? How the hell are you looking forward to famine? How the fuck are you looking forward? Excuse my language. How the hell are you looking forward to um, all these things? You know, it's because we uh, we seek a country, as it says in the book of Hebrews, man. Because this is not our rest, as the scripture says, man. You know, this is not our rest, man. We have no ease of spirit. We have no ease of, uh, as scripture says, you shall have no ease. Uh, it talks about the sole of your feet, <laughs> you know. You, you don't get no rest in this place, man. You know, you, you really don't. You don't get no comfort. Uh, but we, we, we're we comforted by this word, right? You know, this is, as scripture says, this is my comfort and my afflictions, man. So as we're afflicted, man, we're comforted with the promise, man. With the promise, man. You know, and, 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 you know, and this is just for a moment, man. You know, this is, this, this is, a, as the scripture says, is a light affliction, man. And it's just for a moment, man. And we're all going through it. We're drinking this bitter, uh, drink down, man. You know? And that's where we're at with it. You know? But our hope is always strange. As the scripture says, turn ye to the stronghold. Be prisoners of hope, man. We're prisoners of hope, man. All right, we're hoping um, for the promise, man. We're hoping for the deliverance, man. We're hoping for the uh, the coming of our Lord, and we're hoping to be found in His good graces at the end of the day. As the Scripture says, "Let them be confounded; let not me be confounded, man. Destroy them with double destruction, man." All right. So let their um, let them become perplexed, man. You know, but, you know, let us be hid, man. The scripture says, if so, you may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. 
and that's where we're stand where we stand, man. We want to be hid in the in the in the uh the day of Yahweh by Shemiyashah's anger, man. You know, we got to keep pushing forward no matter what, man. You know, no matter what's going on, we, we're going to lose things. We're going to lose people, man. Look what Paul said. I was in peril of the sea. I was in peril of, uh, of false brethren. You're going to have that too, man. You're going to have brothers that really you don't have your best interests in mind, man. Or, 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 or may even um have you delivered up, man. You know, you got to be prepared for betrayal, man. You got to be prepared for all that, man. And, you know, and that even hurts worse, you know, when it's from somebody that you call a, a brother, man. It's because uh, it talks about um, we took sweet counsel together. Uh, it says, um, he said, if it was an enemy, roughly paraphrasing, I would have hid myself, but it was the, my acquaintance. You know, so you got sometimes you, you know, you got a uh, somebody that you may consider brother that may stab you in the back, man. That's that's a factor in this truth as well, man. That's something that happens, man. That's something we got to be prepared for as well, man. You know. All, all, but all of it, man, all of it's bitter, man. And we're just drinking the last bit of it, man, because there's a cutoff to this. There's an end of this, man. And we're hoping to be delivered in that day man that's the expectation that we have man the hope and the expectation of being delivered man you know that's where we're at with it and that's where we stand you know because at the end of the day man that's what it's all about man and and and, and the brotherhood man is 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 the only is, is all important man the brotherhood is all important man we're going to be judged on how we treat each other man we're going to be judged on how we treat the elect. We're going to be judged on how we treat the men's, uh, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai's men, man. You know, we're going to be judged on that, you know. So, there's the end to this, and, 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 and joy is going to come in the morning, man. What did the Lord say? He said, He says, uh, My joy I, I bring unto you, roughly paraphrasing. And, and and that joy, no man take it from you, man. So when Yahweh Shai returns, and and if if we're found worthy, if we're found worthy in His eyes to stand before Him, and be delivered, man, then, you know, <laughs> you know, none of this stuff matters, man. None of this shit matters, man. You know. And we're going to be happy, <laughs> like happy. We're going to be very happy. And our joy is not going to be taken from us, man. Nobody's going to be able to take our joy from us, man. We're not going to bear the reproach of the heathen no more, man. And I'm not just talking about heathen, uh, Esau, Edom, or the other regular heathen. Even two-thirds of our people, man, that are heathen, man. You know? Or even uh, men that are close to us. That are supposed to be in the truth that are, that that eventually um, change up on us, man. Because that's gonna happen, and it has happened, man. You know, it has happened, and, and, and you know. So that's the hope, and that's where we rest, man. Another thing is, man, I'm learning, man, is don't fret yourself with evil doers, man. Don't fret yourself with what people are doing around you that are outside of the truth, man. They're outside of the truth. Let that be that. You do what you got to do. You keep your eye single. The scripture says, if your eye be single, then your whole body should be full of life. All right. The scripture says, um, uh, um, let your eyes look straight on and ponder the, uh, the, the, the path of thy feet. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So keep your eyes on the prize like the fucking Negro spiritual says, right? Keep your eyes on the on the prize, man. Keep your eyes on what's important. Keep your keep your mind on what's important, man. All right. Make the uh make sure that this uh first thing is the first thing, man. You know. Cause honestly, man, I could be less concerned with a lot of the fuckery. Uh, and, and, and that's the attitude we should have, man. You know, 
the hell with what these people are doing, man. We got to be concerned with what we're doing. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're going to get judged for. I can't, I can't point the finger and blame nobody else for things that I'm supposed to be doing, you know. I can't blame nobody but myself at the end of the day, right? I'm in this situation because of my sins, you know. You know, as it says in Micah the seventh chapter, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh, because I have sinned against him, man. So we're hoping that he pleads our cause and executes judgment for us, man, and brings us into the light. You know, that's what we want to be if we're righteous, man. So, you know, that's what it is, man. So yeah, man, with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Say attention to you, I can push in this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to living sacrifice. We are ready to live, salute you. Shalom, woman, the Baba Ball.